Though the new Commonwealth has declared neutrality, it is agreeing to let European forces defend uplink sites built in the UK and Ireland before Europe federated in 2018. Vowing that the United States would defeat its enemies, President Becerra today reinstated the draft for all males aged 18 through 25. Secretary of Defense Ram Charney is praising U.S. arms manufacturers for exceeding production targets across all sectors. With the war entering its third week, America's enemies are producing weapons and military hardware in record amounts. Thousands lined the streets of our nation's capital today to catch a glimpse of America's valiant warriors on parade. Calling our nation's enemies militarized societies that glorify war, President Becerra is urging citizens to join civil defense organizations. Pope John the 24th today again calling for an immediate halt to all hostilities between Europe, Russia, and the United States. Extranet hacker No War Man has been apprehended and is being held on charges of attempted murder and incitement to riot. Russia has again shown its contempt for free speech and human rights with the arrest of peace activist Gogol 14. Peace activist Paz Azur has become the latest dissenting voice to be silenced by Europe's iron fist policies. Extranet polls confirm that Americans are increasingly concerned about the number of casualties the U.S. has suffered over the past five weeks. A recent report shows that our enemies are paying a heavy cost to make war on the United States. Sabotage of missile defense systems is being blamed in the destruction of the USS George Bush supercarrier and at least three escort ships. The Russian supercarrier Ulyanovsk and several escort ships were destroyed earlier today by a combination of missile and kinetic rod strikes. The European supercarrier Jean d'Arc II and several escort ships were destroyed earlier today by a combination of missile and kinetic rod strikes. Citing that Israel has no desire to prolong the current war, Prime Minister Yossi Elon today announced the suspension of all military hardware sales to foreign powers. Calling recent protests a gift to America's enemies, President Becerra said there is clear evidence that the anti-war movement is being manipulated by foreign agitators. Thousands of Russian citizens are risking violent police reprisals to protest their government's war against the United States. Thousands of European citizens are risking police reprisals and political censure to protest their government's war against the United States. The equatorial drought is getting worse. Tens of thousands of climate refugees have been turned away from already overcrowded camps in South America, Africa, and India. President Becerra is in stable condition following an assassination attempt in Washington, D.C. The authorities suspect foreign involvement. Russian President Vsevolod Kapulkin has narrowly escaped assassination at the hands of civilians opposed to his iron rule. European President Nathalie Perrault has narrowly escaped assassination by civilians opposed to the war. The death toll from South China Sea's super typhoons, Sepat and Lympha, has hit 300,000 and is still climbing. Heavy fighting continues in the streets of Caracas following yesterday's surprise attacks by terrorist insurgents. President Becerra assured the public that U.S. forces are gaining the upper hand and that Venezuelan petroleum production will not be affected. Russian forces are engaged in heavy fighting in the capital of Kazakhstan, where a heavily armed uprising has caught them off guard. European forces are engaged in heavy fighting in the capitals of Libya and Nigeria, where heavily armed uprisings have caught them off guard. The global heat wave is being blamed for the forest fires currently raging in the western states and the Amazon. National Guard units have joined with local police forces to restore order in several major U.S. cities, where anti-war protests degenerated into full-scale riots. Russian police and military units are responding with characteristic brutality to rioting by thousands of citizens opposed to war with the United States. European police and military units have moved to crush rioting by thousands of citizens opposed to the war with the United States. Calling efforts to contain influenza M only partially successful, the Centers for Disease Control are recommending that citizens stockpile food and stay indoors. Another chunk of Antarctic ice several times the size of Manhattan has collapsed, bringing the year's total rise in sea level to 1.6 centimeters. Reports of food shortages are grossly exaggerated. That from Secretary of Homeland Security Josh Marshall, assuring citizens that food supplies will be sufficient for the 
coming winter. The death toll from this morning's rush hour detonation of a 15 kiloton nuclear device in Los Angeles is expected to number in the tens of thousands. The death toll from this morning's detonation of a 15 kiloton nuclear device in St. Petersburg is expected to number in the tens of thousands. The death toll from this morning's detonation of a 15 kiloton nuclear device in Rome's city center is expected to number in the tens of thousands. To facilitate food distribution and help contain the spread of influenza M, President Becerra has invoked martial law in all territories governed by the United States. A friendly reminder that compliance with the Population Registration and Quarantine Act is mandatory in all territories governed by the United States. World Media News regrets to announce that we will be temporarily going off the air. Official government channels will continue to provide viewers with all necessary information. Thank you.